let us continue and here we are going to see how to use those prepositions in the sentences learning about the small words and using them correctly in the sentences takes practice most of us use these prepositions naturally in our day to day daily routine without thinking of this even because of practice and uh, these prepositions indicate time place and direction prepositions of time prepositions of time tell us when something happened happens or will happen the words like at on in after before during about around and throughout are some words for prepositions of time see the example veda celebrates her birthday in may here when we take the word in which is indicating the month of may the timing of that action celebrating birthday and the next one is prepositions of place prepositions of a place are used to refer to the place where something or someone is located the location to confuse a bit the prepositions are used in time like uh, in on at are used here in the prepositions of place also see this example the baby is sitting near the window here the word near which is indicating the place where the girl sits and the next one is preposition of direction these prepositions of direction show us in which direction something or someone moves they are quite easy to understand as they are less abstract than place and time the prepositions like uh, through across up down over around of into to these are some of the prepositions of direction which shows the direction the destination among this the most commonly used word is to see the example here the children are going to school here school is what their destination and they are moving towards school so the word to is preposition of direction among those prepositional words let's see a short list of words which are used frequently first let's take the word in in is used to denote some enclosed area where we can physically be located and for some unspecific time it's used like a month year seasons centuries etc also we use this to indicate shape color size opinion and belief see the examples here a man is sitting in the corner of the room here room is a place which is confined with walls and he reads newspaper in the morning in this sentence the specific time of reading newspaper is not mentioned generally in the morning is given and apple is red in color believe in yourself so in is mainly used in the place where we can be inside and to mention timings the next word is on it is used to indicate the surface of something like a river road water etc and uh, to specify dates and uh, days to indicate devices or machines the state of something and the parts of our body it is used the examples are the x are placed on the kitchen table kitchen table which is a flat surface she is wearing a ring on her finger a body part my boss is on the phone right now okay then let's see at which is used to mention specific timing or place and also for uh, mail address and for activities we are using this at see the examples here there are hundreds of people at the market specific place they specify the place market they met at 12 pm laugh at the activity of cat so like this in the places where we can uh, specify something the term at is used and the next word is by which is used for proximity which means the closeness like the words are near 
next to beside we can use this and also for time which is not later than and to show the method how something is done we can use this by and mainly it is used in passive voices see the example she is sitting by the tree which means near the tree i was given a gift by her here it is in passive voice next the word uh, to we shall take to is used for destination and some kind of transfer and preference time between two points there also we can use this to they went to chennai by car chennai is the destination and they reached there by car she prefers coffee to tea here when we take though both are given she prefers coffee and now the word uh, with which is mainly used for togetherness either people or things and for having something to show feelings behind action uh, see the example i opened the door with the fear uh, here uh, fear which is a kind of a feel than the action that feel can be expressed through the word with she drew a picture with the pencil with the help of pencil the table is covered with candles so togetherness then we shall take the word far when we say duration we use this far and to indicate some reason function that you said sometimes we are using and um, we sometimes uh, we are using verb plus ing near the word far so the example they have been working for 5 hours i'm um, can you draw a picture for me asking help and uh, i'm really happy for you so such a places we can use far and dears there is no reliable formula for determining which preposition to use with a particular combination of words as i told you already it can be used only through practice listen to the usage of others read a lot know at least the general facts mainly learn them with the words around you great things never come from comfort zones keep going love learning thank you